Hey guys, today I'm going to run down the Dartmouth secondaries. Hi, I am Dr. Josie. This is Write Your Acceptance. If you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome. If you're not, hello. I'm going to run through them. Uh, Rex, graciously, Dr. Rex, has graciously shared his prompts. He was accepted to Dartmouth, UNC, a bunch of other programs that I'll also share in other videos. And so we're going to workshop his. Uh, you should definitely follow him. I will link his uh, channel below. And yeah, so let's get started. I work with students primarily on personal statements and secondaries, kind of content generating, phrasing, messaging, editing, all that good stuff. So if you want more on how I work with students, you can grab your seat in my deep dive for the um, personal statement workshop or um, a free 15 minute consult with me and we can talk about how I work with students and the details. All right, so let's get started. So the first one is, please indicate your plans for the upcoming year. And this is what he wrote. This upcoming year, I will continue my undergraduate career at the University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill. I am especially looking forward to my two semester senior design project, during which I will work with a team of other students to complete an entire product life cycle from problem identification to manufacturing and testing. I will continue working as a resident advisor in the same dorm I have worked for the past two years, as well as continue my volunteer work through the chaplain's office at UNC Hospitals and UNC Hospice. This year will be a year of transition at the UNC Newman Center Parish with the second new pastor we have had in the last six months starting in August. As such, I hope to take even more of a leadership role helping the administration with the transition. Finally, I will continue on the UNC varsity wrestling team with the goal of earning a starting spot and All-American honors. So very uh, detail oriented, right? I like that it focuses on diverse aspects of their responsibilities, right? A lot of times students will write just about kind of medically related information or, you know, clinical or volunteer experiences. And I appreciate how Rex focuses on athletics, focuses on community, volunteering. And so I also like that kind of midway through this year will be a year of transition at the UNC Newman Center. I like that he offers a reflection as to where they are and his aspirations for kind of growth and leadership, right? Because it shows that he is kind of integrated in the systems, in the in the kind of a parish, and that he is already in many ways a leader in, in the space probably. And yeah, so like I said, make sure that you are covering kind of diverse aspects of what you are doing throughout the year, artistic, intellectual, athletic, and even kind of hobbies that don't make it to kind of a prominent space in your resume, I think may also be interesting. Prompt two, please share something about yourself that is not addressed elsewhere in your application that you might feel it might be helpful to your admissions committee. So this is a very important prompt. I tell students, so we'll read Dr. Rex's prompt or response and, and go through that. But um, real quick, I think that this catch all statement is a very valuable opportunity to share something that is not that is kind of underrepresented or not as kind of prominent in your application. So you wanna consider the four pillars, right? So the four pillars you wanna consider, research, and not in this order, but research, clinical experience, volunteering, and identity, right? So if any one of these is kind of undervalued just because you wrote about other things in other secondaries or in your personal statement, maybe this is a space to, to really allocate and kind of drum up that information for you. All right, so this is what he put. Something that I believe tells a lot about who I am as a person is how I am teaching myself to play piano. I am in no way musically gifted. In fact, I am well known among my friends for my poor hearing verging on tone deafness. However, this has not stopped me from teaching myself piano because I love doing so. It allows me to develop myself in an area of my life where I have immense room for growth. Any area with room for growth is always a challenge that excites me. I realize that I will never be great at piano, but I believe there is nothing wrong with embracing aspects of life that you love that are not particular strengths. I play piano for my own personal growth and not to ever compete with anyone else's abilities. If anything, as I learn more about piano and music, I only gain a deeper respect and admiration for everyone who is musically gifted and able to masterfully play an instrument. So I really love this answer. It shows that he feels that other aspects that are medically kind of um, dominant are well established and represented in his application. So you wanted to show something kind of a softer side of his identity, of his values, of who he is kind of like off the CV, right? Or beyond the CV. A couple things. So I like how he pokes fun at himself, right? He is kind of not musically gifted, poor hearing, verging on tone deafness. It's okay, it's good. I don't think, for the most part, I don't think that comedy 
and kind of making fun of yourself ha ha funny lands very well in medical school admissions kind of space so i think this does okay but i don't i wouldn't be jokey in any of your essays so that's just kind of a caveat because that's not what is here on the page i what i really like about this answer is that it gets bigger right it gets bigger than just teaching piano or learning piano um independently it is about so much more about who he is with regards to how he approaches challenges and obstacles and how he sees everything as an opportunity instead of a setback, how he sees growth and learning as kind of complementary. I think that's what makes this prompt particularly successful, right? It allows me to develop myself in an area of my life where I have immense room for growth. And then they go into that a little bit um, as I read. All right, next prompt. Geisel School of Medicine values social justice and diversity in all its forms. Reflect on a situation where you were the other. So I think the last two to three cycles, I've seen, I felt at least an upsurge in this type of essay. And so sometimes it asks you kind of how you feel like the other here. Sometimes it'll ask you how you can contribute to the diversity of the school. A lot of times these essay prompts can crash and burn, like these responses. And, and so you want to make sure that you kind of, first of all, everyone has great information to share and everyone has enough stories in their kind of life bank to draw upon in an interesting way. I think some crash and burn, meaning that I think sometimes students will kind of push for a story that's not really there or they, they think that talking about inclusion or diversity has to do with race or background in a very specific cultural way. And so I'm just kind of opening up the, the discussion just because these are questions that I get a lot. If you have a social justice, equity, health equity, or kind of diversity type secondary and you wanna talk about it uh, with me, definitely comment below. But I think for this type of essay or for one that kind of talks about how you will contribute to the diversity of the community, we're asking two slightly different things, right? You wanna think about why this is personal to you, what you contribute that is personal and what you learn about yourself in moments. So this one is asking where you saw yourself as an other. Let's see what Rex said. I have been surprised that there sometimes exists a stigma against student athletes at UNC Chapel Hill. However, I also understand this to some extent given the history of student athlete academic scandals at USC. There have been many times where I'm the only student athlete in my science or engineering classes. In some of these cases, professors and classmates assume that either I am apathetic towards my studies or I do not have any chance of succeeding in difficult classes. However, I have never been discouraged by this because I realize that people are making assumptions about a part of who I am, which I have been incredibly privileged to be able to identify as. Rather, I view people's negative remarks and assumptions about me being a student athlete as an opportunity to subvert their expectations and hopefully change their mind for the better. So one of the crash and burn moments is when students feel, when I feel like students linger too much on kind of the moment that they felt like another and not enough on their reflection or their growth or their learning or what they did about it. So you don't want to sound whiny. You don't want to sound angry. You, want, you don't even want to sound, in my opinion, because it's such a short essay, I don't think you want to sound too, too offended. Granted, I can't, this is difficult to say as kind of advice because I don't know the content that you're talking about, right? But I feel like you want to have enough distance from the experience that you potentially share that you can kind of the second half of the prompt be about lessons, reflections, how you behave differently or what you, how you value the situation. So you say a little bit about the situation you were in, but then more so also about who you are, how you value the situation, how you grew, what you learned. If you are thinking about Dartmouth, there are a few amazing kind of details to the program, right? So why is Dartmouth so great? Here we go. It has primary teaching sites in a couple places. Right, so it works with Veterans Affairs, the Dartmouth Hitchcock Medical Center in New Hampshire, in Vermont. So they also have a kind of breadth of clinical clerkships, right? Family medicine, internal medicine, geriatric, ambulatory medicine, neurology, obstetrics, pediatric, psychiatry, surgery. They have a pretty generous website. You can see their residency rates all the way back until 2013. So you can see kind of the trends and how they fare, they fare very well. And community service is very important um, at Dartmouth. I would say there was a survey that they uh, published and about 80% of first and second years are involved in community service projects near. A popular one is the Good Neighbor Health Clinic and some students work with uh, Migrant Health. 
If you found this video helpful, please give us a like, comment below if you want any help on your secondaries, especially with that social justice diversity prompts. Um, or any other questions and if you want more information on how i work with students click on the free 15 minute consult we can chat about how i work with students you can grab your free personal statement guide i have all the goodies in the description thank you again for watching and i'll see you soon bye